Welcome to day two of the 10 day challenge. So today's focus is going to be around the ankles um, and lower leg and range of movement through um, the ankles, knees and hips. So let's take it over onto the mat. Um, we're just going to start in that strong standing position as we always do. It's nice and grounded through the feet. We're just going to lift up through the toes and create a nice space and widening through the toes and the feet. Um, just, just imagine kind of when we wake up in the morning, we have that lovely, nice uh, stretch. We're going to do that exact same thing for the feet, just that really nice stretch and opening and release. Relax the toes down and we're going to start super, super, super simple. And we're just going to lift onto one foot and we're going to circle. We're going to circle through the ankle. Okay, so we're just creating that nice big full circle. We might get a little bit of crunching and clicking and that's okay. We change directions. So we create that nice big full circle. Amazing, we take it over to the other side. So strong and engaged as we breathe, as we hold this position, asking the body to balance, to control um, this posture. We change direction, I'm not doing a very good job at the moment. I'm gonna put right all along, amazing. Okay, we take it down into the standing position. And we're just gonna take ourselves um, to the wall and we're gonna lean our back against the wall, okay? So from here, we're gonna scoot the feet forward a little bit. I'm gonna give you two options. So we scoot the feet forward a little bit and we're gonna straighten through the legs, okay? So from here, we're gonna lift up the toes and then we're gonna lower them down. Okay, it just so happens the sun's shining directly on my feet. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. We might have to go, oh, actually, that's better. Oh, so lucky. Anyway, it's okay. You get the, get the drift. Okay, so straight legs, feet out in front. We draw the toes towards us and we lower down, okay? This is a little bit too much for you. It doesn't feel great on the, on the heels. You can bring one foot back, okay? We straighten and we keep the, the foot that's forward straight and we lift and we lower, okay? So I'm gonna do it with both feet out and we're gonna lift toes towards us. We're gonna hold that for two seconds. Two, one, we lower it down. Okay, we go again, we draw up, toes towards us, those legs are straight. Two, one, we draw it back down. Grounding of the feet, grounding of the heels, we draw the toes towards us straight through the legs, nice and neutral through the spine. Three, two, one, we lower it down, just adding a second on there, and we go again, we draw the toes towards us, there we go, that's better, three, two, one, we relax it down, we're just going to do two more repetitions of this, so we lift up towards us, we're going to go four, three, two, one, relax, nice and neutral through the body, open through the chest. We go final one. Four, three, two, one. We relax down. With that one, if you um, are doing single leg, then you know we alternate through that. If you've done it all on one side, just pause the video and take a moment to do that on the other side. Two seconds times two, three seconds times two, four seconds times two. Okay, so from here, we take it into a staggered stance position, okay? So if you need to use fingertips on a wall or what have you, you can. We should be fairly balanced through this and we're focusing on range of movement through the ankles, the knees and the hips, okay? 
So we draw the fingertips down to the ground. Okay, you can see that we're really um, asking quite a, a nice range of movement through the ankle, the knees, the hip on both sides. Okay, we hold this position just for a moment. Okay, you know, if you find you're up here, that's okay. We work on it, we work on it, we modify, we adapt. Um, to, to challenge the body and to allow ourselves to progress. Okay, so from here, we're going to hop the foot back, okay, and we're just going to lower and lift that back knee. So we lower and lift the back knee. We're feeling strong and engaged as we move, grounded through the front foot, Amazing. We're going to do one more of those. And then we can either place the knee down as we add a rotation, or we can keep ourselves here. Okay, so we can lower that down, or we can keep ourselves here. And the outside hand, or the hand on the out, to the outside of the front foot, we're going to take it up to the sky, and we're going to create some lovely rotation through there. We hold this position. We're strong, strong, strong. We draw it back down, we hop the back foot in, and we bring it into a standing position. Okay, we take it over to the other side. So we stagger the stance, quite narrow, so it's not a big staggered stance. It's not, not a wide one. Okay, we draw it down so we can see ankle, knee, hip on both sides, ankle, knee, hip, and we hold this position. We take a moment here, we slow it down, and we breathe. Amazing. Okay, we hop the back foot backwards, and from here, we're going to lower and lift through the knee. Lower and lift. Amazing. Lower and lift. We're going to do two more of those. And from here, the outside, um, the hand of the outside of the front foot, we take it to the sky and we just lift into that rotation. If we need to lower that back knee down, we can. Okay, we're strong, strong, we breathe. We draw it down. We hop that in and we draw it to a standing position. Amazing. So the next exercise, um, our final exercise is standing. Okay, so again, it's a staggered stance. Okay, and it's from this position, we're going to move. Let's see if we can step out this one. That's better. From this position, we're going to see, we're going to drive the back knee forward okay so pretty straightforward pretty simple when we have a grounded front foot but what i'm going to ask of you now if you could if you want to take it up a notch okay as we drive it up we push off on to the toes of the grounded and the ball of the grounded foot we draw it up start to kind of see and I'm creating a little bit more of a hole at the top. Amazing. We're going to do one more. Okay, we take it over to the other side now. The sun's following me, it's following me. Okay, good, brilliant. So grounded. Okay, weight into that front foot. And we just start with that drive of that back knee forward. Okay, so to up this, we, okay, nice and quick, short and sharp. Okay, so this has just shown me that it's so much harder on my left side. Okay, we can 
we hold at the top. Okay, if you need fingertips on a wall, that's okay. Oh, that's a lot tougher for me on this side. Okay, just need to have a minute to regroup. There we go. And relax there. Just give those legs a little, little shake off. So we're going to roll down to the mat now. Okay, if you found any of those tough, whether it's the balance or the strength element of it, you know, it's just so good to practice. Ground into your feet. We take a big full breath in. And as we breathe out, we take the chin to the chest and we're going to roll all the way down. Fingertips to the mat. And we just settle into that position for a moment. We try not to sit back through the hips. So we keep ourselves over the base, the big toe, the base of the little toe and the heel. And then we're just going to bend through those knees and we're going to take it into a high leaning position. Okay, we're going to place the toes down onto the mat, just walk the knees back a little bit. And if we can, we're going to sit for a moment in this position. Okay, incredible for the feet, incredible for the ankles. If you need to lift and lower out of this, you can. We just take a moment here. We take a moment to breathe. Amazing. Okay, tops of the foot down, of feet down, we sit that down, same again, if we need to lift up and out of this, we can, okay, if you just hold it here for, for a couple of seconds and that's your limit, then we just work on progressing that up, increasing that time where we can sit and rest in this position, you can get a nice release through the feet. We place toes down again. This time we're gonna we're gonna roll onto the toes, okay, and onto the balls of the feet. Okay, the knees come down. We roll and we draw down. If you want to make this a little bit hard, we roll up. We draw the arms high. We roll down. We roll up. We draw the arms high. Okay. We roll down. We're going to do one more of those. Amazing. Okay. And from here, we're just going to take it into um, the high kneeling position. We're just taking one leg forward um, as if we're going to take it into that hip flexor stretch okay we're going to place the toe down behind us of that back foot gently tuck the tailbone under so we're not extending through the spine okay we get this nice release through the front of the leg amazing okay so from here okay there's one or two things we can do to make this a little bit easier we can place the hands forward okay fingertips down and we take a big full breath in as we breathe out we're going to lift the back knee with that breath out. And we lower. Okay, so you can see it's very subtle. Big breath in. As we breathe out, we lift up. Okay. Let's take it one step further. We're going to take a big full breath in. And as we breathe out, You lift that back knee. Big full breath in. Really get yourself focused. Amazing. We're going to do one more of those before we move on to the, the other side. Big breath in. As we breathe out. Amazing. Okay. Take it down. We take it over onto the other side. Okay. So the tailbone under so we get this nice release through the hip flexor. Strong through the spine, core, shoulders. Okay. Grounded through that front foot. 
we tuck the toes underneath. Okay, and you know we can start here. Big breath in. As we breathe out, we lower. You can see very subtle. Big breath in as we breathe out. Amazing. If we want to make it harder, okay, we set ourselves, get ready. Big breath in as we breathe out. We lower down. Big breath in. Amazing. We've got one more of those to do. Big breath in as we breathe out. Awesome. Oh, that's a toughie, isn't it? Okay. We just sit ourselves back into the child's pose position. Take his arms out in front of us. Breathe, take that grounding breath. Let go of any tension we're holding on to. Just settle the bottom back towards the heels. Amazing. One big, full breath. Our biggest, fullest, deepest, longest breath. And we roll back up into a tall position. And we are done and dusted. So that's day two of the challenge. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you tomorrow for day three.